Hey guys, the Jujutsu Kaisen skin are finally here, and probably many of you are wondering how much do you have to spend to get these very tempting skins, especially if you're a fan of the anime. I personally spent around 10k or so diamonds and managed to get 2.5 skins. I got half of the required tokens for the third one. Coincidentally, one of the heroes who are part of the collaboration also got a really nice buff in the recent update. Julia is now borderline OP, if you thought that his first kill dealt a lot of damage back then, just wait until you try this new buff Julian. He can be played as the mage, jungler, XP, and I think even as the roamer he might do fairly well. In this one I'll be playing him as the jungler. Julian is not the fastest at clearing the jungle, so request some assistance from your allies to take the buff faster. One of the best advantages of Julian is that you don't need to wait until level 4 to get his ultimate. If Odette stays and tries to defend the turret, I'm going to dive her. I will use the enhanced second skill instead. Got away a little bit so they don't see me approaching. He misses his ult, now I can turn this around. When the EXP lost in a 1v1 and decided to complain. One of the most important lessons I learned by playing solo queue is that if you truly want to succeed, you gotta start taking your own responsibilities and stop complaining whenever something doesn't go your way. Even if the team is indeed inexperienced and you're in an unfavorable situation by default, it's important to think of a way to overcome whatever the situation you are in instead of just blaming. I gotta be honest, these skins animations are pretty epic. I saw their mage coming this way, so I will try to go for her instead. Is it me, or with this game, the first kill is hard to see? Pay to win? They got too many heroes with tons of regen. I need to get the anti-region item as quickly as possible. It's really important to adapt your build and change the order of the items according to the opponent's composition.
remember, don't type and play, because this is what could happen to you. Here you can see the Ryu Sun didn't adapt to this situation and didn't get Dominance Ice as the first item to easily counter Thamus. On the contrary, their Thamus was smart and he actually built anti regen as his first item. I really think that Julian is borderline OP now. His damage is absolutely nuts. He has an AoE control effect skill and he can even become immune. If you truly master this hero, you will become the opponent's worst nightmare. I'm telling our Hanabi to retreat because it's about to be a minute and we could be getting the Lord instead of the turtle. But it is what it is. You can keep poking the opponents with his enhanced first skill, but don't be too reckless and put yourself in a situation where they can catch you. Brody is about to old. This hero is just nuts. Also, I forgot to mention that he has a free spell van passive as well. Not gonna lie, this alpha is very sus. Without Estes heal, oh, they probably would have died there. This hero basically has ult every 5 seconds. I have less than 25 matches with Julian, but he's so good now that even a mature like me can do pretty decent. Well, I guess they had no choice but to buff him since this skin was scheduled to be released, but I guess we'll see him being banned from time to time, especially in high ranking games, 
when more players start playing him again and dominate the game. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. See ya.